Hi, Ben Pearson, Rosa Tracker here. And yesterday, July 4th, 2020, the company Rocket Lab launched the Electron rocket for the 13th launch attempt. And it had a few issues that happened along the way, specifically, well, the vehicle gave up its thrust and stopped firing. It's a really unfortunate day for Rocket Lab, and my heart goes out to everyone who was involved, to Rocket Lab and to the customers. I know that a lot of these guys put their heart and souls into these missions and to just see it blow up in front of their eyes is really, really rough. Unfortunately, this is part of operating in space. I have had this happen a couple of times and it's really, really nasty stuff. So please be sympathetic to the people who are involved with this. Now, let's talk a little bit about what happened. The launch appeared to be completely nominal from the beginning. There was some little interesting thing that happened. It looked like the, the decal, the stickers that they stick on the side to promote whatever, had some issues where it basically was starting to peel off towards the end of the flight. This is an anomaly and something they probably need to figure out, but it probably didn't cause anything significant. I found it interesting that this happened when it was basically at the end of its flight, when it was outside the atmosphere. You would think that it would have started peeling off earlier if it was going to, but it's a curious thing and something that should be studied. The really interesting stuff started happening about 5 minutes and 40 seconds. The first thing that we noticed was that the video cut off. And they still continued to show the telemetry coming down, but the telemetry was consistent with no acceleration. The rocket was just kind of stationary there. It was still moving because it had already been moving about half of orbital velocity but it was coming down pretty fast and you don't want to ever see that when you're building a rocket and it was pretty obvious there had been a major major failure at about six minutes and 26 seconds i think the battery hot swap would have happened with the electron rocket they are the only battery powered rocket orbital rocket in the world they actually will use electricity to run their turbo pumps because it works better for small rockets than it does to have a traditional turbo pump system. And what they will do to make this work is they have three batteries that are on the top stage and two of them they'll just literally chuck out of the, the system as they're moving along and keep going forward with the one good battery so that they can maximize the payload they get into space. That would have happened about 40 seconds after the anomaly. It's probably not related, but it happened kind of sort of in that time frame. So a lot of people are kind of questioning that. At six minutes and 30 seconds, we heard this call out. Hey, all stations on uh, mission cord. Initiating the SAP response plan. I think this is a reference to a standard anomaly plan. Anytime you're doing something like this, you want to have a procedure set up so that if something unusual happens, you have a process to follow. So they have the standard anomaly plan that makes sure they log all of the telemetry, make sure that they know exactly what they had been doing so that all of this data is available to the people who are going to be investigating this over the next few months so that they can figure out what went wrong and be able to fix it. The last thing that you possibly want to do is to have a failure where you don't have the data necessary to even know what happened so you can't fix it. That's a really bad thing and you got to get all the data down on the ground. Most important thing when you have an anomaly other than potentially recovering the mission and it after a whole minute of this happening it was pretty unlikely they were going to be able to recover the mission no matter what they could manage to do. Sometime later after the fact, Rocket Lab issued an, a statement saying there was an anomaly that happened four minutes after flight. It's very curious. The very first Rocket Lab launch actually did have a failure. The failure was in the ground system, which led them to have to terminate the rocket early. But that happened at about four minutes into flight, too. My feeling this is probably a copy-paste error, that the real anomaly started happening later, but it is possible that something happened much, much earlier and they have the telemetry they would know far better than I would. So if you see something coming out from Rocket Lab, trust them over what you're hearing from me, please. One thing that was curious about this is the data was still coming down. We were getting good telemetry from the rocket, although the video had stopped. 
My feeling is, is that the video is sent through a secondary circuit because it's not considered as important as the primary telemetry. So they probably have an omnidirectional antenna that sends this data down. There's not a whole lot of it, so they can transmit it a lot easier with an omnidirectional antenna. And no matter what happens, you have to get going with this data. The video probably has a slightly higher gain system, so they have to point it in the right direction for them to be able to get the data. And if they couldn't point in the right direction, then, well, it would not be as catastrophic. But the video would be gone. And this is what my feeling is that happened. So what could have possibly happened? Well, we know that for the last few seconds before the complete cutoff of acceleration, it seemed to be slowing down just a little bit. We also know that it wasn't a catastrophic failure. We were still getting telemetry for at least a minute after this failure. So there was no explosion. Despite it being the 4th of July, this rocket did not blow up in the air. No fireworks. But it is kind of curious here. Bottom line is, is we don't really have a good grasp on what's going on. And Rocket Lab, no doubt, will be letting us know what happened over the coming weeks and months as they're able to investigate this. Being the weekend right now, I don't think they're going to be quite at 100% capacity getting towards those answers. But they're smart guys. They'll figure this out. And hopefully they'll continue on. Rocket Lab is one of the more interesting companies. They're a small satellite company that has been extremely deliberate in the decisions that they have made to be able to reduce the cost of getting to space. And this is a really interesting take. It has the business sense that some other companies don't necessarily have. And they're really a pretty brilliant company in many ways. I look forward to seeing what they're doing. I wish them the best of success in troubleshooting exactly what went wrong. And hopefully they can fix this in the future. I will say that it probably wasn't a battery swap. It could have been some kind of an electrical problem that happened. Um, or it could have been an engine failure or a turbo pump failure or something like that. It's really hard to know though without the data and I look forward to hearing exactly what happened. Thank you guys very much for everything. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. And until next time, keep on tracking. Take care.